Testing? Testing. Okay, great. Mic works. Okay, so today is Wednesday, the 24th of April, 2024. Time is 22.10. So it's 10 minutes past 10 at night. Um, and my pizza will be ready in about six minutes. Um, okay, so uh, yesterday I finished um, chapter one of the Sith Inquisitor and now I'm going to start chapter two. First I'll log in to my Jedi Knight and Sith Warrior characters real quick to uh, check to see if there's any emails or uh, whatever. And today is the 108th uh, anniversary of the 1916 Easter Rising that took place in Dublin, which led to uh, most of Ireland being free. will exceed your expectations, Master. Oh yeah, um, I suppose uh, I should, when I'm checking with my Sith Warrior, I should head to Alderaan to see if that, um, so um, this character, so while on Alderaan, uh, my Sith Inquisitor uh, had to go into House Wrist, um, and there was like a little side quest uh, available there, which she did, um, but 
Piranhas here, she never had to go into house rest. So that made me think, hmm, uh, wonder if I did that with her. Um, so probably haven't. So it, it wouldn't take long to do it uh, as well. So just gonna log into her real quick and go do that. So she has to <coughs> travel to Alderaan, land, uh, teleport to House Wrist, go to the entrance, and if there is a side mission uh, present, we'll do it. If not, then uh, then it means we've already done it. Um, either way, we'll uh, teleport back here. Um, so let's see. Oh, there's my alarm. That means my pizza is ready. I can spare the time. Easy. Easy. Okay, um, so back to the ship. Okay, I'll go get my pizza now. Be right back. to reply. Back. Mmm, lovely cheese pizza just for me.
Oh yeah, and I'll have to do like a recap of what happened. With so every time I uh, finish a section, I'll try and I'll do a recap of that section. So whenever, so before I uh, start chapter two of the Sith Inquisitor, I'll I'll um yeah typed up. Uh, like, like a, a thing where um, I basically talk about what happened. So I did a recap. Um, I did a massive recap. Um, no before. Problem. Um, one I got, of um, my final I, efforts. You're going to like uh, this. Uh, the, the massive recap was of um, the prologue, Jedi Knight <laughs> prologue, and chapter one. Then it was Knights of the Old Republic one and two, and then the Sith Warrior chapter uh, prologue, chapter one, and yeah. And then uh, from that point, I did. Yeah, I I started. Uh, oh yeah, I, I don't think I did a recap of the chapter two for Jedi Knight and Sith Warrior. Maybe I did. Hold on, let's see. Okay, I did, because, um, yeah, I definitely, um, uh, typed it all out, so I must have deleted the parts that I read. Okay. Right, so we are heading to Alderaan.
You're going to love this. Ooh, roast and hot. See it. <clears throat> Markman, error, system failure, data corrupted, encryption unsecured. House Rist has successfully assa assassinated major Thule military leaders and political allies of the Empire. Their intelligence is key to their success. The mission, your mission is to infiltrate 
Heist Wrist, recover and destroy target lists from known wrist assassins and wipe their central intel database. Be warned, Heist Wrist did not leave their home unprotected. Maintain cover identity at all times. After you have successfully wiped the Wrist database, transmit confirmation using Imperial codes provided. For your own protection, destroy this communication upon receipt. End of recover data. Power failure. System rebooting now. Slap on the wrist. First catch of the day. A slap on the wrist.
Okay, I'm back. Got some yogurts. Yep, so my Sith Inquisitor has almost caught up with the Sith Warrior here and my Jedi Knight. So there's only three planets, but really there's two because the quest is really short. So there's <coughs> next we'll be going to Taurus um, and then after Taurus, uh, so when, when we go to Taurus, um, in chapter 2 we will do the heroics first then we'll do the main part of Taurus and get a new companion then um, we'll do we'll go back to the ship and debrief we'll land back down on Taurus and then we'll do the bonus series um, after that we'll take a shuttle to the fleet and <coughs> we'll do um, to story flashpoints, uh, boarding party, and uh, the foundry. Um, so once 
those two flash parts are done. We'll head to Quesh, um, which is very short. Uh, there's no heroics on it even. And there's only one class mission on it instead of four. And there's, uh, there's like two, two or three talent remit missions. Uh, so won't last very long. Then once that's done, we'll head to Hoth. Um, once we get to Hoth, actually, once a uh, quest is finished, we'll, do a, we'll fly back to the fleet, do a random group flashpoint. Uh, then we'll head to uh, Hoth, uh, land, do all the heroics first, and then we will do all of the main part of Hoth. Then uh, go back to the ship, debrief land back down, do the bonus series and then uh, then complete chapter 2 and then at that stage my Sith Inquisitor has caught up with the other two characters here um, so then I'll switch over to my Jedi Knight who is already completed uh, build Savas in chapter 3 so that's a third of chapter 3 done so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll complete chapter 3 with him uh, then once he's finished, um, I will use the red and uh, white dice to decide which uh, which of the Sith I'll be doing chapter three with next. So, um, so that would be the Sith warrior here, or uh, so the red represents her, and then the blue represent or the white represents the Sith Inquisitor. Uh, so. Uh, so the, the white uh, kind of represents the the grey, the cloud. Um, so because my Sith Inquisitor, her future is um, is clouded. We don't know if she's gonna be light side or dark side. Uh, she's been she's been having like so my my Jedi Knight. He is pure light side. Uh, so if there's any light side decisions, he must the good things. Um, my Sith warrior, she is pure evil, uh, pure dark side, so if there's any dark side options, she must pick them. Um, and my Sith Inquisitor, though, uh, she isn't tied to any side, um, so if there's light side and dark side decisions, I'll just use the white dice uh, to decide um, in that moment will she be doing something good or will she be doing something evil um, so um, the outcomes will be interesting and it should open up some uh, some extra dialogue that would not be uh, that you wouldn't really see um, uh, another way
we go. Back to the fleet. Sure. You don't come in. Amuwa con girata.
finished. So <clears throat> let's uh, start the recap. Um, okay, so uh, the story so far. So um, let's move things about a bit. There we go. Okay, so the story so far um, Sith Inquisitor Prologue Corbin. In the beginning of this playthrough, I used two d20s and a dice tower to decide which side I would create my random character. Um, if red won, uh, red won and blue lost, so I chose Empire instead of Republic. I wanted this character's feature to be clouded instead of pure light or pure dark, um, unlike the Jedi uh, Knight who's pure light and the uh, Sith Warrior, who is pure dark. Um, I used a white D20 to create a random character and ended up with a female Twi'lek Sith Inquisitor, called, which I named Brosna. Um, and then I rolled for uh, the advanced class as well uh, and got Assassin. Um, <clears throat> Brosna, a former slave, um, she started off on Corbin, arriving to the planet uh, to undergo the Sith Academy. So in the Sith Academy, um, uh, the Acolytes are, are basically the students in the classes. And they have to like be sent to... Basically the overseer, the teacher, sends... Uh, the students away to do uh, really dangerous assignments um, and the, each time the acolytes return um, but basically these dangerous uh, uh, during these dangerous assignments um, the acolytes are killed off um, and the overseer has to keep giving the acolytes assignments um until there's only one um uh one candidate left and that um that last acolyte ends up coming the apprentice of a new Sith. So um Brosna um she started off in the set uh in the Seth Academy on course Corbin to undergo uh Sith training and uh, to become an, an apprentice to uh, a Sith Lord and it was revealed that the most uh, promising uh, trainee would become the new apprentice to Lord Zash and that was by Overseer Harkin I think his name was um, the young Sith um, she prevailed through the uh, early trials and but was sent um, to the tomb of Nagasado, uh, and she was told to uncover its secrets. So while she was in the tomb of Nagasado, uh, she discovered a hidden chamber um, that belonged to Tulak Horde, and in the middle was a, a monster, a dishad, uh, called Kemval. Um, uh, she was she disturbed the monster and woke him from slumber, um, and uh, she fought and defeated Kemval uh, in the submission. And Kemval um, uh, pledged to serve um, Brosna. Um, 
so Brosna she returned to the Sith Academy and claimed the honour of being Lord Zash's new apprentice. Uh, then Zash instructed um, Brosna to meet her on Drummond Cass. Uh, so then Brosna, uh, as Brosna, we uh, took a shuttle to the Viking space dock. Uh, we did um, a few flashpoints uh, and yeah we did two like two random flashpoints and um the black talon which uh took us to um drum and cass um uh and then on drum and cass uh uh brosna encountered a sith lord called darth scotia <coughs> and uh this was like at the spaceport like Right when she arrived on Drummond Cass, uh, Darth Scotia was there um, with his Trandosian uh, bodyguards. And Darth Scotia, he was like this cybernetic type Sith Lord. He had like, um, so he, he was like bald with. So, um, Lord. Uh, Darth Scotia, he was like bald with um, uh, m most of him was like machine, um, he, he, yeah, he was more machine than man, um, and uh, <coughs> Scotia was like really aggressive to Brosna at the spaceport and says that uh, uh he told her that uh, he doesn't know what Z Zash is up to, but. Uh, he will stop her plans no matter uh, what they are. Um, so then when Brosna meets with uh, Zash um, at the um, Citadel, um, <coughs> Zash, uh, Brosna told, tells Zash what happened at the spaceport and Zash gets uh, annoyed uh, that <coughs> she gets annoyed that Scotia was uh you know uh pecking on um on Brosna. So uh Zash tells Brosna to go uh all around uh Drum and Cass uh to get um uh things that would help uh defeat Scotia. So one was for like uh an ancient tablet that the Trandosians um uh had basically had to serve as part of their culture and the other was for something that would um wreak havoc on Scotia's um cybernetic uh enhancements. So um <clears throat> so yeah, Brosna went across Drum and Cass on errands that would ultimately uh, culminate into Scotia's downfall. After recovering a tablet of extreme religious importance to the Trandosians um, and procuring an experimental device called the Cybernetic Nullifier uh, which is designed to negate uh, cybernetic enhancements, um, Brosna confronted Scotia uh, using the tablet to blackmail the guards and the Nullifier to disrupt Scotia's cybernetic implants. Uh, Brosna and Kim Val uh, mortally wounded Scotia uh, who uh, revealed that um, uh, and, and warned Brosna that uh, she is next and that you know Zash will be plotting her demise next. Um, so Zash, <clears throat> so when Brosna uh, reveals to Zash in the cantina that Scotia is dead um Zash uh, she's like overjoyed and uh, Kim Val <laughs> he's kind of uh annoyed that uh Zash was like partying in the cantina um <clears throat> uh because you know for him uh it's this is not the you know it's not the kind of behavior uh, that um that that a serious uh, Sith should be having. So um, <clears throat> so Zash she was like overjoyed that um, that uh, 
uh, Scotia was uh, was killed. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, she was like kind of. Uh, yeah, she was kind of suspected by, you know, a powerful Sith known as uh, Darth Thanaton. So Darth Thanaton, he was uh, <clears throat> he is was Scotia's master. But then after Scotia was uh, killed, um, Zash took his place. So um, uh, Lord Zash became Darth Zash at that moment. <clears throat> So Zash had basically orchestrated Scotia's assassination so that she uh um could like take his place and when uh when people when the Sith authorities went to investigate um they were they, they thought Zash had uh killed Scotia but they couldn't find uh find out how she did it. Um even though my apprentice, my uh, character, um, uh, Zash's apprentice, um, Brosna, revealed to them that uh, you know it was her that killed them, uh, they they didn't uh, believe her. Um, so, uh, so Zash took um, Scotia's place uh, as Darth, um, and that meant that so Scotia was under Darth Thanaton, so and Zash was under Scotia. So now uh Zash gets promoted uh to Darth and is under Thanaton. So Thanaton's uh Zash's next um uh, is probably was probably yeah is probably Zash's next target. Um <clears throat> so uh Yeah, um, so Z Z because Zash was like in the cantina partying, um, you know, that kind of uh, took her out of the, uh, um, basically she had an alibi. Um, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, Zash had to... Uh, um, yeah, Zash, uh, she moved her office, offices from, like, uh, her old office at the back of the uh, Citadel in, on Drummond Cast to the front, where, uh, basically, into Scotia's former uh, offices. Um, <clears throat> so, um, Bros Brosna, she uh, ended up having to, like, talk to Darth Anaton, um and Brosna was uh, worried uh, but when she met uh, Zash at Scotia's offices uh, she had received the title of Darth so that's Zash that received the title of Darth with, the, with uh, that scheme successful and Scotia's records now hers um, Zash sent Brosna to the Dark Temple to obtain Tulak Horde's artifact from a Sith apparition. As Brosna approached the tomb where the artifact was being kept, the apparition appeared, believing Brosna to be a threat. Um, the apparition attacks, and uh, but then stops uh, realizing, recognizing <coughs> Brosna as um, as his descendant. Um, so, <coughs> so the the ghost he. He revealed himself to be the spirit of uh, Lord Kalig, and that, um, and that uh, Brosna was his descendant. Um, so uh, basically, uh, Lord Kalig was uh, Tulak Horde's uh, biggest enemy, and uh, <coughs> Brosna. Uh, ended up believing the story and um, uh, took the artifact uh, but uh, Lord Kalag uh, advised her to be careful um, 
you know, because of the, uh, you know, because of the way of the Sith, uh, the Sith's um, nature is to be deceptive to one, one another and to try and plot each other's demise so that they can rise in the ranks. Um, so then Zash uh, uh, contacted um, Brosna um and told her to come back to uh meet her um and zash told abrosna that she had learned that the artifact was only one out of five um and the other four had been hidden all over the galaxy so <clears throat> so zash um decided to reward um brosna with with a gift a starship um uh, called the Fury. Um, so <clears throat> uh, Zash told uh, that <clears throat> Zash told Brosna that the uh, she had learned two of the four uh, locations, uh, which were Balmora and Narshada, um, and that she needed time to uh, find out what the other two locations were. Um, so then uh, we headed to Balmora um, and this was like the start of chapter one, Legacies of Old. Um, so on Balmora, Brosna had worked with an Imperial um, <coughs> an imperial officer called Major Bessiger uh, to locate the artifact. Um, the Major knew where the artifact was located but its resting place had become a toxic um, pit due to the recent war with the Republic. Um, and then Brosna uh, had to like run around Balmora for Besker to get um, some doctor and ingredients and inject herself so that she uh, inject herself with a serum that would basically make her immune to uh, the vaults uh, toxic um, radiation and effects and she was able to get the artifact on Balmora so after that one we headed to um, Narshada um, and on Narshada Brosna had had to claim the artifact from a renegade Sith Lord called uh, Palladius um, who was the leader of a cult um, and uh, with this, with the assistance of two former members of the cult, Brosna was able to make her own cult and obtain the artifact. Um, <clears throat> after after Narshada, after Narshada was finished, um, Brosna, uh, there was like a scene on on the ship where Brosna was like sleeping, and then she got woken up by. Uh, by the ghost of Lord Kalag and hold on, I need a drink. Okay, so, um, um, so after Narshada, that was pretty much, um, uh, after Balmore and Narshada was finished, that was chapter one, pretty much half done, and, um, there was a scene where, uh, Brosna was like sleeping on her, on her, on the ship, and uh, the ghost of Lord Kalag uh, woke her up and uh, uh, basically war warned her about Zash. Uh, he said that um, ever since Brosna had left uh, Drum and Cast, that Zash had been visiting the Dark Temple uh, often, performing some strange rituals uh, in his tomb. Um, and the uh, the nature of these 
uh, Richards was unclear, but he he was certain that they were meant to um, put Brosna in harm's way. Um, and then uh, Zash, he revealed that Zash had taken up two new apprentices um, and all this indicated that uh, Zash was planning something that uh, that would ruin uh, Lord Callag's desire to restore his legacy and um, Lord Callag, Lord Callag's ghost uh, said to Brosna to go to Corbin and obtain his mask uh, from a Sith Lord um, uh, who was entrusted with the mask um, so uh, after getting the mask uh, which I still have in uh, my ship's uh, storage uh, in the cargo hold um, so uh, so basically uh, Lord Callag wanted um, wanted Brosna to have his mask uh, you know just in case um, Azas was planning something um so so then uh lord zash um or darth zash even um contacted um brosna and told her that she had learned the locations of the the last two artifacts um which were tatooine and alderaan so um we headed to tatooine and uh when we arrived we recruited the uh, the help of a former pirate called um, Andronicus Revel and uh, he was uh, mutinied and abandoned by his crew um, and uh, and they working together they managed to get uh, the artifact uh, of Tulak Horde um, and then uh, uh, yeah so after that, we headed to Alderaan, um, and Brosna learned that the artifact was inside um, uh, the House Organa Vault, and that <clears throat> she needed to eliminate a Jedi Knight called Nomark Organa in order to um, acquire it. Um, so she uh, she met with. Uh, someone called Rihanna Wrist um, and uh, she she ended up finding no more no more Organa and uh, gained access to the vault and retrieved uh, the last artifact so how chapter one ended um, was with Brosna returning to Drummond Cass but as soon as she arrived she got a call from uh, Darth Thanaton over the hollow um, and he warned her to be uh, to be careful of Zash um, <clears throat> then uh, the ghost of Lord Kallag appeared and then uh, told Brosna to go to Nar Shada to pick up his lightsaber <clears throat> so um uh, so Brosna headed to Narsada and met with girl and who uh, to get uh, who had a fever to uh, uh, well she didn't have the lightsaber it was like taken from her but it was kept in like a in a box or something that only she she could open so um, she got the box back and brought it back to the girl um, and then uh, she was able to get the lightsaber. Um, so uh, then Brosna returned to Drum and Cass and uh, confronted Zash in the Dark Temple and uh, Darth Zash she was like wearing uh, like uh, she, she had her hood up um, and uh, she had her she was talking with her back uh, to us uh, the whole time um, and then she uh, uh, revealed Put her hood down and uh, turned around and showed her face, which was um, her true appearance, uh, which was all like old and basically she looked like a zombie, like the undead. Um, 
<coughs> so um, Zash uh, created the ritual because she was planning to swap bodies. So basically, she wanted to um, sacrifice the apprentice. Basically, she she made um, Brosna. Um, <coughs> she made her apprentice Brosna um, a lord, so that when the ritual was performed, um, she would possess um, Brosna's body, and um, Brosna would be the new Lord Zash, or yeah. Uh, Darth Sash. <coughs> um, but uh, during the ritual, uh, Kim Val. Yeah, actually, um, how did it go again? Um, yeah, so they were doing the ritual, and then uh, we fought. Um, like my character rolled and said, "Okay, I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll I agree to this, and I'll let you uh, uh, take my body." Um, but then, uh, after the conversation, we, we ended up fighting anyway. And then at the end, um, uh, Zash had trapped, uh, Brosna into like this, uh, bubble. They were both in bubbles and, um, just as, uh, the, the ritual was, uh, being performed, Kim Val jumped, uh, between them, um, which ruined the ritual. And there was like a flash, and afterwards, um, uh, Darth Sash's dead body was um, lying on the ground. Um, and then Kim Val woke up, and um, it was Lord Zash's, Darth Zash's voice. Um, so Zash had. Um, so there was an accident where. Uh, Darth Ash's uh, spirit um, went into Kim Val instead of um, Brosna as planned um, and uh, instead of pushing Kim out uh, completely from his body uh, Kim was able to stay uh, in his own body so they're so both basically both Kim Val and uh and Zash uh share Kim Val's body now. Um but every now and again they like, um you know uh Zash comes forth and then uh, and then Kim comes forth. So th so they're um basically their spirits are kinda clashing over who controls Kim Val's body. Um so uh uh yeah after after Zash was killed and that whole incident happened um her uh, apprentices appeared um and uh one of them was about to kill a uh, fight um uh Brosna but then the other one was like, "No, wait. This is uh, this is what Sash wanted. We had to. Um, she knew this day was going to come, and uh, and that uh, this would be the apprentice to defeat her, and um, she will bring. Uh, she will change uh, the future of the Sith. Uh, so they pledged allegiance to um, uh, to Brosna, um, and." Yeah, that's where we are right now. Um, so next is chapter two, um, Sith Hierarchy. Okay, so glad all that reading is done. Took a while to type it out. Okay, so. Chapter 2, Sith Hierarchy. 
a war breaks out between the Sith Empire and the Republic. As the galaxy plunges into deeper chaos, a new Sith Lord, Brosna, establishes a power base and begins the rise up to eminence in the Sith hierarchy. Having just recently defeated Darth Zash, Lord Brosna must appear before a new master, Darth Thanaton, one of the Empire's most prominent Sith. Lord Brosna... That's right, she's not an apprentice anymore. She's Lord. Lord Brosna. gear until I get to um, <coughs> until I complete chapter three. Ready for departure. And then pick um, one of the other cosmetic outfits. Enjoy your stay. From Oren Pantier. Subject on behalf of my house. I have already thanked you once for bringing the tyrant Boris Olgu to justice, but I have since realized that my thanks do not go far enough. News of the usurper's capture spread to the wayward members of my house, and we are a family again. When this war is over, we intend to call a summit and allow the houses to judge Boris Olgu for his crimes. It is my hope that this trial will show us who the tr true ruler of Alderaan is, whether he be in House Thule or not. You're, you have united a house once divided and on the brink of extinction. You will forever be our friend and ally, and we will forever be in your debt, Lord Oren uh, Thule Pantier. From Lord Polydeus, subject Miracle Mishap. You'll be happy to know that the malefactors threatening your cult have been dealt with, my lord. All it took was a proper show of power. I attempted to simulate a grind quick, as you did, and claimed that I was channeling the master's boundless power. However, I made a slight miscalculation and leveled an entire neighborhood. Fortunately, most of the gang members were killed in the ensuing carnage. While that wasn't quite the intended effect, I believe the end result is satisfactory. I don't foresee anyone else opposing us for a long, long time.
Darth Thanaton, I believe we spoke once before. I hope you've settled into your new role. Your brief career has been of great interest to me. And with Darth Zash dead, I think it's time we finally met. If you will be taking up Zash's work, we have much to discuss. Meet me at the tomb of Darth Andru, outside Kaas City. Seven, I will do as you command. As you say. It will be a pleasure to finally meet you. Something about that Thanaton guy rubs me wrong. Your pilot friend has good instincts. Thanaton had me confined to Brahman Kaas when we killed Scotia. And he'd have done worse if he had proof. He's not to be trifled with. Be careful. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Destination. Enjoy your stay. You know what? It would actually be faster to go the other way because <clears throat> if I go this way, I have to go past droids to get to there, and the droids can detect um, people if they're invisible or using stealth. But if I uh, go here, then I can. Uh, use a vehicle to get a mount to get to here then I can um, go invisible and sneak past the enemies here uh, get on the mount and then travel to there so <clears throat> Okay, finished eating. Go set on us in the kitchen.
medical attention. Be well. Thank you for meeting me here. Respect for her superiors is the mark of a good Sith. Of course, Zash would have disagreed, did disagree with me passionately on that point. But then, Zash never respected tradition. <clears throat> um, 15? Why should she? Being Sith is about being free, not blindly following an arbitrary set of rules. Be careful. That attitude may get you in trouble someday. Tradition, principles, history, the threads that compose our society. Zash refused to acknowledge how one little tug could ruin the whole tapestry. Your work was sloppy, brazen even, but the news of her murder was sweet. Uh, 12, she attacked me first. I didn't want to kill her. It was self-defense. Nonsense. Every apprentice wants to kill their master. It's not a fault. Nevertheless, we're here to talk about you, not Zash. You have demonstrated remarkable ability. Though I am a stricter master than Zash, I think you'll find that to loyal followers of our traditions, I am not ungenerous. Uh, three. I hope I can please you. Then I will do my best not to disappoint you. In that case, I think we will have a very fruitful relationship. Now, I wish to see how you work. This too belonged to Darth Andrew, Sith scholar and alchemist. I'm interested in his last writings, which were buried with him. Recover them for me, and we will discuss your place in my power structure.
venom-toothed vipers always slithering, slithering. Up the walls, along the floors. Trespasser, trespasser. You'll not have it. It's mine. It's the last place in the galaxy that's mine. Three. You can have the tomb. I just want the writings. Never satisfied are you, my apprentice. The poison's still fresh in my body. You defile my tomb. You and your brother both. The venom may have burned away my sight, but I know you. Don't make my mistake. Strangle your children at birth. Uh, five. Calm down. I didn't kill you, and whoever did is dead by now. You can be at rest. Rest? Never. I must protect what I have from vipers like you. Nonsense. Darth Thanaton has no reason to kill me. He is Sith. He does not need a reason. Listen, flesh of my flesh. I have felt something in you since the day we met. You have a rare pull among ghosts. It's a source of great power, but it has destroyed many a Sith. It's your only chance against Thanaton. Eleven, a pull among ghosts. What do you mean I have a pull on the dead? They sense you from far away as I did, and you rouse strong emotions in them as with this ghost. In my time, there were mystical movements among the Sith that sought to communicate with ghosts and harness their power. A Sith named Urgast was said to devour ghosts the way your Dashar devours Force users. His knowledge was buried with him in the dark temple. Seek this knowledge. Twelve. How will that help? I don't see how this ritual will save me from Thanaton. Thanaton wants you dead. Defeating this ghost will not only get you the writings, but also give you immense power. Don't make me remind you again that you are the last hope of our lineage. You must augment your power before you face Thanaton. I will not have the strength to defend you again. Find the tomb of Urgast. Tomb of Urgast.
Welcome, Seeker. I am the servant of Urgust, Lord of the Sith, keeper of his knowledge. Who stands before me, and what do you wish to learn? Uh, six. How do I stop a ghost? There's a ghost in my way, and I was told your master knew how to remove it. There is no way to defeat a ghost. Death can only be avoided, not defeated. But ghosts may be bound, and their strength borrowed for a time. You must pull on the tether that connects life and death. You must learn to bind both sides of the Force, life and death, in what is known as the Force Walk. Uh, Twelve. Don't have waste my time. Enough of this mystical nonsense. Teach me the ritual. If that is your desire, my master has no secrets. No to the bones that lay around you. Not everyone is able to master the ritual of force walking. But if you are willing, drink from the cup before me. It is poison, but it will not kill you. Have you drunk? Good. The poison will take effect quickly. Then you may learn the ritual of the Force Walk. you are unconscious, we may begin. The ritual has two parts. First is the pacification. An angry ghost cannot be tethered. The second part is the binding. A willing ghost is easier to bind, but by leaving the ghost its will, you draw less of its power. 
A pact may be formed to bind the ghost willingly, sealed with blood. Or the ritual of binding may be performed. Go. You're a quick learner. It's been a long time since a creature of such promise has entered my tomb. Four. And what's the catch? There has to be more to this than a little dreaming. A very quick learner indeed. You might just make it out of here alive. This is the test. Bind me and you go free. I'll walk with you a time and see the Empire once more. Fail and I kill you. Don't bother trying to make a deal with me. I'll not go willingly. You have passed the final test. I am now your slave, and my power is yours. I am bound to your life, and you to my death. Use my strength to shield yourself against your foes. medical attention.
Slytherin. Venom-toothed viper. The only cure for madness is madness. What's happened? What did you do to me? No, not my daughter. Bring me that treacherous she-dog so I can cut her open. Um, <clears throat> 16, I'm shutting you up. What does it look like I'm doing? Yes, I recognize it now. The ritual of force walking. I'd heard of it, but I didn't believe it existed. Do you really think you can handle my power? It doesn't matter. You won't have me. This is my last stronghold, and I won't be your slave. Uh, Levin, uh, the hard way it is. I think you misheard. I wasn't asking. You treacherous. one's writings and show that on what a good apprentice you've been. I got what you wanted. Hmm. You've put me in a difficult position. When Zash disobeyed me and had Scotia killed, tradition demanded she be killed and her power base destroyed. Believe me, when I say I wish that you had stayed in that tomb, it will pain me to watch you die. Eleven, but I'm innocent. I don't understand. I didn't do anything. Your master openly defied me, and I cannot risk you following in her footsteps. May the Force welcome you with open arms. Kill her. What the John? truly are relentless. I can see now why Zash chose you. But this has carried on long enough. Astonishing. I didn't expect one as reckless as you to have prepared such a defense. Unfortunately for you, I am older and wiser and studied in rituals you can't even imagine. I have business on Malachor 3. Prepare my ship. 
and dispose of this mess. Yes, my lord. My lord, you're awake. We need to hurry out of here. If Thanaton finds out you're still alive, we're all in trouble. Um, what is that? Thirteen? I don't care. Let Thanaton find me. I'll kill him. I don't think you have the strength for that yet, my lord. Let's get back to the ship with the others. We can figure out what to do from there. What a day, huh? There's sometimes you just don't want to get out of bed without a couple of adrenals or a good stiff drink. And then there's times that are just all right. Uh, three. You're cheerful. 
I never thought of you as an optimist. I just got a good feeling about today is all. Got a little shooting practice in, stretched my legs. Just a good feeling. My lord, you're back. I thought you were gone. I could get trampled by a bantha herd and not get knocked around as bad as you. We followed Thanaton's servants, cut them down, and pulled you out of a ditch. You didn't have a pulse at first, but then Carl noticed you were still warm. I don't know how you survived that. Two. What about Thanaton? That explains why I'm still alive. Where's Thanaton? You sure you're ready to face him? He did a real number on you. Your survival is the most remarkable thing I've ever witnessed. I still can't quite figure it out. It seems Thanaton's ritual was too powerful for your shield. But he didn't fully understand the bond between you and the dead. To kill you, he would have had to purge their spirits. You died, and their very presence kept you alive. That's great, but what do we do? We can't wait for Thanaton to come back and kill us. Uh, 18. Does Thanaton have a weakness? If only we knew Thanaton's vulnerability. He's not part cyborg, by any chance. No. Thanaton despises modification of that kind. He only defended Scotia because he liked me less. We need to make it so Thanaton can't break through your shield. Corrin's right. His servant said he looked pretty drained after he knocked you out. Just a little more power. It's a gamble. None of us know what the cost of acquiring so much power so quickly could be. Well, it's on the side. Roll again. Uh, five. I'll take my chances. I'm well aware of the cost, but I'll risk it. We don't exactly have other options, do we? So where do we find more ghosts? Jedi and Taz were investigating something of that nature. I sent a man to investigate shortly before my unfortunate change. I'd have to do more research on the matter to confirm, but I suggest making contact with him. Fourteen, you're all useless. Doesn't anyone have anything more... solid? I wish we had more to go on, but right now that's all I have. Corin and I will dig around too. And we'll keep an eye on Thanaton. If he makes a move, we'll let you know. Good luck, my lord. Oh, whoop, Tar's next. Finally, a reprieve from that monster. Apprentice, I promise, get me out of this infernal body and I will give you power like you cannot imagine. Eleven, I think it rather suits you. That body is the perfect match for your personality. Yes, 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 Ash is a monster, very clever. I very nearly changed my mind about the ritual, you know. I genuinely like him. But it was that or death, and I, I don't like anyone that much. Um, 18. You can care more about these. So, which of you is the rock, and which is the hard place? Cam Val wants to eat me. What do you want? If I can't have her out of this body, the least you can do is ensure that the monster is silenced for good. Uh, two. I like that monster. Kemval may be a monster who eats force users, but he's never lied to me. I will find a way out of this body, and failing that, I will find a way to take control. There's the truth. Uh, it. 
I could kill you now. Another word, and I will cut you down right now. And lose your precious shadow killer? I think not. Remember, kill me, and you kill your precious Ken too. Return to the ship always warms my circuits Tars. Tars was once a city world, home to a planetary metropolis. Three centuries ago, however, it was bombarded by the great Darth Malak and left a toxic ruin. The years since have not been kind to Taurus, as vegetation and animal life struggled to gain a foothold in shattered skyscrapers and habitats. The Republic began to recolonize Taurus less than a decade ago, aiming to make it into a symbol of Republic hope and steadfastness. In response, the Empire is mobilizing troops and beginning a full-scale assault. Early reports speak of fierce resistance from the Republic, as well as natural hazards in the form of wildlife and the mysterious Rakul Plague. Has your research turned up anything else on this terrorist ghost? Ni pate ufaro we sand and sware kani dene ak jas waluda is. Us not here. I've beat her back. The lady isn't around when we need her. Gini matan gan gisat. She's a plague, a thief of my flesh. Uh, it, shut up and give me zash. She is more useful to me than you are. Let me speak with her. No, I will not obey. I will not give over my identity to an intruder. <coughs> uh, Twelve. Try again. If you won't let me speak with her, I guess I'll just have to force her out. Thank you. That was just the opening I needed. You have no idea how disconcerting it is to be pushed to the recesses of your own consciousness. But you didn't call me here because you missed my company. What is it you need? Uh, Twelve. We've arrived on Taurus. Have you managed to find any more information about the Terrace Ghost? Ah, yes. I did manage to sneak in a little extra fact-finding before I lost my bearings. It seems the ghost you're after was once a set from Darth Malak's invasion force that destroyed Taras a few hundred years ago. The ghost was one of the Sith left to die during the final bombardment, for some spiteful reason or another. We're all trigger happy sometimes. Seven. All Sith are murdered then? Don't any Sith ever die of natural causes? Most Sith don't see 50. Helios Malice at the Imperial base will be able to tell you more. If he forgets his manners, remind him you're my successor. Most Sith don't live to see 50. Well, that makes uh, Darth Sidious um, very successful indeed.
headed to Taris, my lord? Let me clear a shuttle for you. And please, forgive the delay. The planet hasn't seen this much action since Darth Malak occupied it centuries ago. Now that the Republic's rebuilding their shattered cities, the Dark Council is determined to destroy the planet once and for all. Uh, ten. How is the attack proceeding? Do we have the Republic on the defensive yet? I haven't seen the latest reports myself, I'm afraid. If you're ready to head to Tannis, your shuttle's cleared for launch. Uh, let's go. I'm all set. I'll tell Imperial Command you're en route. Speak with Captain Hellet if you wish to join the fight. route is confirmed. all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed. all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed. Displaying all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed.
route is confirmed. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Okay, so there's like there's only six heroics. I have to do five of them to get the weekly. Uh, you know what? I'm starting to feel tired. I think I'll head to the cantina and turn it off. Um, get a good sleep and then hopefully I can uh, have a good long stream tomorrow you won't find a better bargain come back anytime Okay, so that's me for uh, uh, tonight. Um, uh, it's only been like two hours and like 24 minutes, but I'm feeling tired, so I'll get a good sleep and then I'll uh, continue chapter two tomorrow. Thanks for watching.